This video is an open letter to a former employee of Adam vs. the Man who will, for the time being, remain anonymous. This person worked on a project with me and agreed to be paid on commission for their work. After the first month of the project, the commission I owed this person was $66. I rounded up and paid them $80. When the exact role that this person would have in the project changed, they decided to leave a month before the agreed upon time. Another commission came due a few weeks later, and when asked to pay it, I offered to let this person calculate what it should be. Using a calculation that had never been discussed before, this person su suggested that for the time following the first commission payment, I should pay $1,340. We're talking a commission based on view counts here, so that would be 2,680,000 views on this channel when their work was responsible for, at best, a tiny fraction of that. I also owe this person two bitcoins, so including that, I offered to dramatically round up from what I presumed the commission was based on this person's assessment and offered $450. Now, I'm not a rich guy and this operation isn't exactly on a shoestring, but it's pretty close living YouTube commission paycheck to paycheck and relying on donations to cover bills each month. So $450 is still a lot of money to me and I do my best to not keep cash lying around and told this person I need a little time to get a check in the mail. This person, who has my cell phone number, decided that because I missed an email, instead of calling me to get my attention, which was their stated goal, they decided to put out a hit piece video on me. So to this person, let me say, thank you. Thank you for showing me that my generosity is wasted on you. You want to call me out for not communicating and not fulfilling my contractual obligations? You want to do that without even substantiating your claims? You want to tell people that I don't communicate when you didn't call or text me once after I told you I needed a little more time to pay you and waited one week before resorting to character assassination? To reputation extortion? Fine. Let's go back to the contract and see exactly what I owe you. According to our calculations, the total amount that you earned by your commission was $102.50. So if you subtract the $66 from the last time I paid you, I only owe you $36.50. Oh, but wait, I can't pay you that. That would be a violation of the terms of our agreement because I overpaid you last time. So it turns out, in order to satisfy your request that I follow the terms of your contract, I can't pay you more than $22.50. So again, thank you so much. I was about to do something silly. See, this is the check for $450 that I was going to send you. Here's the check for $22.50. But you know what? You also requested that I pay you in bitcoins, and since I don't really want to have anything to do with you right now, that provides me the unique opportunity to convert that $22.50 at the going rate, and you know what? I'll round down for your advantage. Let's call it $15 a bitcoin. So we'll call that one and a half bitcoins, and I'll add that to the two that I owe you, and that's 3.5 bitcoins. And there you go. Were you drunk when you made that video? Would you really so quickly jump to try to trash my reputation? What did you think I was going to do? Just roll over? You think I'm a sucker for threats? I don't fucking think so. I thought you were better than this. It, it's a shame that you would resort to such low tactics to try to get more money out of me. I hope you can recover from the setback and can appreciate one more lesson learned from this experience. Now, unlike you, I've extended the courtesy of keeping your name off this video, but those who need to know will be able to figure out what you've done and who you are. But if you feel it necessary to continue to trash my reputation by spreading rumors about me, oh, and by the way, thanks for also revealing yourself as the source of the vicious rumors circulating about me, I was wondering about that, then your name will be the first words in the description below, the title above, and your name will be all over the annotations here. But if you ask nicely, I might disable the comments. Sadly, it seems I still care about your reputation more than you care about mine. 
But I sincerely hope your poor attitude to those who provide you career opportunities does not prevent you from realizing the potential of your talent. Ladies and gentlemen, there are a few lessons to be learned here. First, honor your contracts. I value my reputation and would never want people to think that doing business with me means that I won't do my best to make it a positive and rewarding experience for everyone I work with. Second, don't attack someone without solid ground to stand on or you might get knocked on your ass. And finally, whether you're a government bureaucrat or a sovereign citizen, don't fuck with Adam versus the man.